All right, we're talking one gallery, hundreds of objects, and thousands of years worth of history. Yeah, next month, the New York Public Library's Treasures will open its long-awaited Polotsky exhibition. It is free, and you can start getting your tickets today. Yes, so joining us now is Declan Kylie, Director of Special Collections and Exhibitions for the New York Public Library. Declan, um, you have a Brooklyn accent, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's where I'm speaking from now, but it comes really from England. We'll work <laughs> on that. Originally. The longer you stay here, the better <laughs> it'll get. I'm working on the Brooklyn not, accent. Not to worry. <laughs> You'll be saying forget about it like a pro in <laughs> no time. Before you know it. Um, but talk to us about the kind of items that will be featured. So we have uh, objects really ranging from the beginning of the first emergence of the written word about 4,000 years ago, uh, right up until the 20th century. Um, authors like uh, Nabokov and Jack Kerouac, for example, represented um, uh, just a few items really from the vast archives that exist at the New York Public Library of these authors' works. So in the past, you've kept these kind of squirreled away. I would imagine it's because they're incredibly rare and very delicate. How do you decide what you're going to bring out and how do you keep it all safe? Well, that's the hardest part, part of all, of course, because we have something like 46 million objects in the collection. Wow. Um, this exhibition surveys about 250 of them. Um, but as you said at the top here, uh, this is a permanent exhibition, which means that you'll be able to keep coming back uh, you know, visitors from New York and overseas will come in and see a rotating exhibition of treasures over the coming years. And so we will eventually roll out thousands of these things, which, as you say, normally sit in a vault or are only made available to researchers who come in specifically to look at these objects. And it's not just pages from books or books. We just saw what it looked to be some stuffed animals and whatnot. Give, give us some highlights. Yeah, give us some highlights of the sure. really so cool things people can see. Stuffed animals, uh, probably the most famous stuffed animals um, in any museum or library collection. These are actually, um, these were owned by Christopher Robin, wow. and these inspired the Winnie oh, the Pooh sweet. books, which were published in 1926, Winnie the Pooh and Friends, um, The House at Pooh Corner in 1928. Um, these were the very toys that he played with as a kid, and that inspired his father, A.A. A. Milne, to write those now incredibly famous children's hmm. books. And these are really the cornerstone of our children's collection. You know, oftentimes we think about a library as a place just sort of of the past and that's very uh, static. But this is something where you're trying to show us how it continually evolves and keeps bringing in more things and brings a variety of interests into that one place. Exactly, yeah. One of the great things about this exhibition means that we'll be able to show in this gallery that you can see here um, new acquisitions that come into the library because the, the thing is um, that the library is acquiring new material literally every day. Um, the Schomburg Center, the Library for the Performing Arts, and the special collections at the Schwarzman Building uh, continue to acquire new materials at a pretty voracious pace. Uh, of course, not nowadays, many of those materials are uh, coming to us uh, born digital. And we have a, um, a portion of the gallery in which uh, visitors will be able to see a lot of our audio and moving image uh, collection materials mm -hmm. too, which again are, are in most cases absolutely unique to the New York Public Library. We were just watching some video there of people with gloves on being very delicate and gentle and touching some of these objects. Talk to us about the process and bringing this exhibition to life. Sure. So the video you saw there is uh, taken in the last couple of months as we've been installing the exhibition over this summer. Um, but the uh, the whole thing really dates back several years. Uh, the president of the library, Tony Marks, uh, has been working with uh, Leonard Polonsky and the Polonsky Foundation um, to create this exhibition uh, on a permanent basis for all New Yorkers to enjoy. And uh, the last couple of years, I've been selecting materials with curators across the research libraries, uh, putting together a coffee table book, which uh, is available uh, now, of course, um, and basically whittling down the checklist of the exhibition to provide as much variety and interest as possible. I mean, my, my view on exhibitions, whatever the exhibition is, is that they should both educate visitors and also delight them and leave them with some kind of a emotional experience. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that's really what will happen in, in this uh, in this gallery space. And Declan, as somebody who just played tourist for the past week with my family, I have a 19-year-old daughter and an 8-year-old son. One of the things that we enjoyed the most is having an actual live tour guide mm -hmm. with us to help bring this to life. Do you have that dimension that's going to play into this as well? Or one of those audio phones so that we can get more of that detail that really brings it to life for us? Um, I'm glad to say both. So if you 
prefer to listen to a person um, give you a tour. We have docent tours uh, scheduled uh, twice a day. Um, those will begin as soon as the exhibition opens to the public on the 24th of September. And of course, if you would prefer to do a self-guided tour, uh, we have an audio guide that you can listen to on your smartphone. And uh, there's something like 29 different stops there where you can stand in front of those objects. And uh, one of several uh, expert commentators will tell you more about that object than you can say in a hundred words in the label. It is a great exhibition and we are so thankful that you were able to join us today and talk to us about it. Especially a good day to go and check it out too. With Today with is a library the horizon, day. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Declan. Thanks so much. Absolutely. And if you want to reserve tickets Thank for you. the exhibition, you can go to nypl.org. New York, of course, always the best in these things. Oh, absolutely. They get all the goods. Great resources.